Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. This episode is part one of a new series we're going to show you about a native beneficial Polistes wasp building a nest right behind this outdoor thermometer attached to a barn wall in upstate Indiana. We discovered this nest on May 4th of 23 and decided to do a series about it. And we'll show you as she starts building more cells on this nest and begins laying her eggs in those cells, and we'll document her entire journey here from the early spring where she's just starting this nest all the way through the fall months of 2023 when that nest will likely die off for the season. We hope you'll enjoy this new series. Thanks for being here. And remember, your local native wasps are beneficial insects in the ecosystem. So do your best to welcome them, treat them kindly as they get established on your property this spring. It's May 4th, 2023. And behind this old thermometer on the barn, we often see Polistes wasps going back in here and uh, crawling down the top or coming out of there. So it looks like there's probably a nest back there. One quick note here as we freeze the frame for just a moment. The thermometer says 90 degrees. That's completely wrong. For some reason, this old thermometer just goes crazy whenever the sun hits it. Just know that this thermometer is only accurate when it's in the shade. If you see it in the sun, it's probably showing a temperature that's too high. It was only in the mid-60s here on May 4th, 2023. Here we'll pick up where we left off. It's a native species, and so we don't want to disturb it too much, but we're going to try to look in there and see what we can find. Sure enough, here we can see a foundress queen. Looks like a Polistes metricus, maybe a Fuscatus. And she has a very small new nest she's constructed. There's probably one egg in it. It looks like a one cell nest so far, which is how they always begin, with one egg and one cell. And as the temperature warms up in the next couple of days, we'll probably see her out foraging quite a bit for nest building material. So we only shot a brief amount of footage on May 4th, 23. This is the first day that we found this nest. But we're going to do a little series on this nest throughout the summer months and into the fall of 2023 so we can watch it grow and develop. The first update happened the very next day. It's May 5th, 2023. Beautiful day here in upstate Indiana. Perfect blue sky. Right around 70, 71 degrees. Let's take a look at our friend over here. Behind the thermometer. She's working hard today building her nest. Yesterday on May 4th, we discovered this nest with one cell in it. And today she's out foraging for wood fiber to get the nest expanded. There she is. She's working hard building the second cell today, maybe the third. As we watch her build here for a moment, just keep in mind if you find a native beneficial wasp in your local environment, wherever you are, your property, and you see it in a place like this where it's not bothering anyone, it doesn't get in the way of people, it doesn't pose any danger to anything or anyone, it's important that you don't remove these nests or poison them or treat them in any way just allow them to survive and do what they do naturally in the environment for you. The reason is we need wasps in the local ecosystem because they act as helpful pollinators and even more so they act as great biological control agents where they reduce the population of pest insects such as the ones that attack your garden all summer. So they'll do a great job of clearing out a lot of those pests, thousands of them over the summertime if you just let their nest survive. When they're out foraging, as you can see in a lot of this video, they don't mind you being right up next to them when they're out foraging. They're not aggressive towards people at all. As long as you don't directly assault their nest, they're great neighbors and you can just get along with them day to day and they'll do really nice things for your property. In general, most Polistes species simply aren't aggressive, especially towards humans. As you can see here, we were filming very close to the nest and she just left us alone. As we left her alone, she knew we were no threat to the nest. She's 
She's doing a good job up there. Working hard today. Building out her nest, adding another cell. We'll keep an eye on her and we'll let you know how it goes here over the next few days. Seems like she's doing just fine back there. She's probably out foraging at the moment, looking for more wood fiber to build her nest with and looking for nectar to sustain herself while she goes through the very laborious process of building this nest so quickly and laying eggs in each cell. So let's go look for her. We'll see if we can find her foraging. This could be our foundress right here. One of these two foraging for wood. Of course, we can't tell which one. There's a third on the back. And all of these are busy collecting wood fiber today for their new nests for spring 23. As you can see, they're hard at work. She'll combine the wood fiber with the uh, enzymes in her saliva and some of the regurgitated fluids that she can produce. And that's what she'll make a paste out of, which will dry into a paper-like substance. And that's what they build their nests out of. So what you see here is a very interesting process that the wasp will go through when she's building her nest. She uses her mandibles to strip away the very surface of the wood, mostly ultraviolet damaged wood, and she'll take that fiber that she collects, the wood fiber, and she'll mix it up into a paste using her saliva and some of the fluid she can regurgitate to keep it all hydrated, and she'll mush it up into a little ball and she'll tuck it under her chin and she'll fly it back to the nest and she'll use that little ball of putty that she's created with wood fiber and she'll build the nest cells with that. When she runs out she'll turn around and fly right back to the source of the wood and she'll do this over and over again all day long while she constructs the nest. Today the thermometer is accurate. You see her just fly out there to get something to eat for herself. Here she's out foraging for some nectar. Here she is. This is right outside her nest. It was a flowering tree of some kind. And it's right by her barn here where she has her nest right behind the thermometer. So here on May 5th of 23, we keep the ceramic bird filled with honey and this allows any of the local Polistes wasps or other wasps to come and visit and get some energy whenever they need it while they're building their springtime nests. Here we have a northern paper wasp or a Polistes fuscatus as they're called and she's getting a drink of honey here and it takes a huge amount of energy to do what they're doing at this time of year which is building the nest, laying eggs in each cell as they build each cell and trying to maintain themselves while they're building and to do that they need a lot of carbohydrate fluids and what they'll do is get a lot of nectar from flowers and they'll lick honeydew off of plants that is left behind by aphids and they'll eat whatever they can find out in the environment that's sweet like that and so bees honey is something that really works for wasps because it's made out of the same material that they would eat in the wild which is nectar and bees convert that into honey and wasps actually make a version of honey themselves and they will often store that in their nest as a food source for the adult wasps while they build. Now our mama wasp probably didn't realize quite how windy it was gonna be and how her home would get knocked around like that by the wind, which it does quite a bit when it gets windy. So we're going to go ahead and tape down the edges of this for her just to give her a break, make it a little easier for her to nest here. There we go. That'll 
keep some of that wind down. Stop knocking her house around so much. Yeah, she's doing a good job expanding the nest today already. She's out foraging at the moment. So the temperature is accurate on the thermometer today because it's still in the shade. As soon as the sun hits it, it gets crazy hot and the temperature goes way up, which is inaccurate. But for now, low 70s is exactly correct. Beautiful day today. Beautiful day, sunny blue sky, birds in the trees, perfect spring day. Hope you're all doing great. We'll talk to you again soon.